And here is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday, April the 12th, 2020. Easter Sunday, the end of Lent, the celebration of Jesus' resurrection from the dead three days after his crucifixion, a date based on the cycles of the moon. Jesus was said to have risen from the dead on the first Sunday after the first full moon of spring. So Easter can come as early as March 22nd and as late as April the 25th. The word Easter comes from the Anglo-Saxon goddess Ustra, the goddess of springtime, who once saved a bird whose wings had frozen by turning the bird into a rabbit. And because the rabbit had been a bird, it could still lay eggs. And that rabbit became the Easter bunny. And there are records of people giving each other decorated eggs at Easter as far back as the 11th century. It was on this day, 1633, Galileo Galilei was put on trial by the Inquisition for supporting the theory that the earth revolves around the sun. And in late April, he agreed to plead guilty and was sentenced to a period of house arrest at his home in Florence, where he gradually went blind and died in 1641. It was in 1992 the Catholic Church formally admitted that Galileo's views on the solar system are correct. 1857, on this date, Gustave Flaubert's first novel, Madame Bovary, was published, a woman who has multiple affairs to stave off boredom. The novel caught the attention of the authorities. Flaubert was charged with corrupting public morals. He was acquitted, and the publicity from the trial made the book a bestseller. It was on this day, 1945, Franklin Delano Roosevelt died in office of a cerebral hemorrhage sitting at his desk at his resort in Warm Springs, Georgia. That evening, Harry S. Truman took the oath of office. Eleanor Roosevelt called Truman in the White House. He asked her, is there anything I can do for you? And she said, is there anything we can do for you? For you are the one in trouble now. It's the birthday of Beverly Cleary, born in McMinnville, Oregon, 1916, who gave us the Ramona Quimby books, Ramona the Pest, Ramona the Brave, Ramona Forever, and many others. Here's a poem by Wendell Berry to my mother. I was your rebellious son, do you remember? Sometimes I wonder if you do remember so complete has your forgiveness been. So complete has your forgiveness been. I wonder sometimes if it did not precede my wrong, and I erred safe, found within your love, prepared ahead of me the way home or my bed at night, so that almost I should forgive you, who perhaps foresaw the worst that I might do, and forgave before I could act, causing me to smile now, looking back, to see how paltry was my worst compared to your forgiveness of it already given. And this, then, is the vision of that heaven of which we have heard, where those who love each other have forgiven each other, where for that the leaves are green, the light a music in the air, and all is unentangled, and all is undismayed. To my mother, a poem by Wendell Berry, from his new collected poems, published by CounterPoint and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.